Hey yo, and welcome to Get Home's Corner. Welcome to a very special video. Yes, you are about to watch an alpha male test himself to the very limits of his capabilities. Today, I am going to be undertaking a food challenge. Yeah, and I'm going to be attempting to eat Sir Strumming. Now, for those of you who don't know what Sir Strumming is, it is um, it's apparently a Swedish fermented fish. Yeah, I know, it sounds absolutely mental, doesn't it? I mean, you guys, well, those of you who know me, like, no, I hate fish. I don't eat anything that comes from the sea. Like, you slapped a battered cod down in front of me. I'd probably chunder if I had to finish that. And now I'm about to eat fermented herring. I mean, fermented is just a, like a middle-class word for rotten, isn't it? It's going to be absolutely grotesque, which is probably why so many of you have been asking me to do this. Um, yeah, so it is like legendary levels of disgusting, apparently. Um, it's also particularly pungent, I've been told, like proper, proper stinky. Um, some people have even suggested that I open the tin on the water, such as the smell. Now, I don't know whether that's just people kind of trying to get in my head and suck me out before the challenge starts, but I do, I do have a healthy respect for bad smells. I've got a sister, Amy, who was unfortunately a vegan, but before she reached that like terminal stage of stupidity, she was um, a vegetarian. And when she first became a veggie, like switched from a normal person to eating vegetarian foods, her farts were minging. Um, I remember one that actually made me gag. Um, that's no exaggeration. Even my mum, her eyes were watering and she's got IBS. So that gives you some idea of the pungency of it. So yeah, I do respect, like, but healthy respect for the pungency and like bad smells and stuff. And I, I don't want my house stinking of Swedish fish. So um, I think what we should do is take it out to the garden to open it up just for safety's sake. And then I'm going to try and eat some. Um, I've got no idea about how much I'm going to be able to eat. I, I'm under no illusions that I'm going to finish the tin or something. Uh, but it did cost me 25 quid, so I want to get some of it down me. Like, I'll be happy if I can eat an inch or two of it. Right, let's take it out to the garden and, yeah, let's try it. Right, okay, here we are. I am outside and I have got my challenge instruments. Uh, tin opener, Sir Strumming, obviously. And I've got my wok in case I do need to chunder. Although I'm hopeful I won't, because public puking wouldn't it out of my bloody garden anyway i guess i've just got to get started really isn't it that's all i can do um actually i did want to clarify slightly on the fish issue i said before that i don't um eat anything that comes from the sea my, my reasoning behind it is it's kind of like eating an alien uh, they don't even breathe properly and i've said that before a lot of you are like, oh you're so ignorant callum they do breathe fish through gills and stuff and yeah okay you're right they do breathe i guess but uh, it's not through a nose it's like that for me is not really breathing like little flaps in the side of your body taking on water that's proper alien to me um yeah i don't like to eat animals to disgust me that's that strange to me um, and it's not because I don't like them, I'm not like um, bullying certain animals, like, I just, you know, they've just got to not disgust me. Uh, my mate had chickens when I was younger, actually, and one of them was a right dickhead, he used to come and peck me all the time. I didn't like that chicken, uh, but I would have still eaten him, because he didn't disgust me. Um, whereas other of my friends had goldfish, which I like to look at, um, you know, personality-wise, they were decent, relaxing, but I wouldn't have eaten it. Uh, disgust me. Yeah, that's where I stand on it, and... I'm kind of waffling now, aren't I? So let's just get stuck into this rather than delaying. Um, I am expecting a strong smell when I open it, so I'm slightly um, hesitant. Okay, right, here we go. so strong it's indescribably strong i'm outside and the wind is blowing it and it smells like there is an anus literally next to my nose expelling it oh god danny you don't want the bass in it <coughs> lenny's come to see lenny you don't want a piece of this mate you can obviously smell it it's gross <coughs> I keep expecting, Lenny, you don't want anything to do with this, mate. You might think it smells good to you, but it's grotesque. It's fermented fish, honestly. Back off, mate. Oh, you've got to look so stinking. It's still here. It won't go. Uh, I'm just going to have to open it. I 
keep hoping the smell would just blow away, but it's so strong. Here we go. No, I'm doing it the wrong bloody way, I think. Uh, come on, open. Lenny, you don't... Oh, my God. <laughs> No, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. There is a liquid coming out of it. That is grotesque. The smell is grotesque. It is so strong. It sent Lenny, my dog, wild. It is. Oh, my God. Oh. Better over here. It's gonna have to take gold forms. I just try to get it open. Oh my god, that's so disgusting. There is li I've got a shot. <laughs> there is like a three, four foot wall of smell. It is so intense, it is absolutely disgusting. And there is liquid that is bubbling out of it that's horrible. Hello. This way. It's dripping on me. It is singing. Come in. He's coming through the gaps in the tank door. Come on, trousers. I'm sorry. I guess I'm gonna get it open. Gonna get it open. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so disgusting. <laughs> Uh, at the sight of it. Oh. Oh, oh my god, oh my Gonna move it away from it. Uh, it's so hard. It's so gross. I move it. I move it. <laughs> oh my god. I just had to move it down the garden so I could breathe a bit. The juice is all over the table. But Jesus Christ. That's the worst thing that I have ever smelled. It's even in the bits of juice that are on my table and the, the floor, it is like a thick smell. It's unavoidable. I've never smelled anything so toxic in my life and the sight of them slimy, grotesque little fishes. Uh, I'm going to let this... I'm going to take five minutes to clear up the table, change my trousers, get the smell off me, and then I'm going to peg up my nose, try and bite one of those, I guess? I don't know. I don't I can't even look at it, let alone eat it. I'm going to try, though. I'm just going to get myself under control, clear this up. It stinks. <coughs> Things. So disgusting. Can't help describe to you how bad this is. I'll come back to you. Okay, I'm going to try and get a really, really quick shot of what I was actually dealing with, what you can see in there without breathing, because it's so disgusting. It's, um, it's grotesque. Absolutely grotesque. 
I can't get away from it. Oh my god, that is not food. There is no way you can describe that as food. Something that anyone would want to eat. Who is eating that? It's disgusting. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold and I cough when I get cross anyway, but that is just repugnant. If you're eating that for pleasure, shame on you. Now, if you're eating that at all, shame on you. That's not food. It's gross. Oh, my God. I don't know how much you can see. I wish I, my mum would have bloody filmed it so you could have seen me opening it properly, but she refused because she said it might be gross. But as I opened it, uh, as soon as the tin popped a little bit open, this smell came out that was like rotting food, like rubbish, like an old rubbish bin that had been left for weeks and weeks and weeks in the baking bloody sun. And intermingled with that, with that was an incredibly strong smell of unwashed Arse, like, if Ian Moore appeared in front of me, that's what I'd expect him to smell like. But it was stronger than you'd even imagine him smelling like. It was so dense to smell. Like, normally you open something it smells bad, like, oh, it's gross for a minute. But then outside in the wind, it dissipates. But it just kept giving. It was a gift that never stopped bloody giving. Horrible. Horrible. And after I'd filmed it to show you, I had to move the tin off the path. And one of the little fish fell out and I had to touch it. It's all like putrefied or soft and grotesque if you wait that. Oh. The thought of putting that in my mouth is just horrifying. But that's what I've got to do, isn't it? I've got to try it. I'm going to let myself calm down. My house smells of fish because there's a window open. I didn't think it'd be strong enough to fill up the whole of the bloody Benbridge and then waft in through my windows. Okay, so I'm going to wait for my kitchen to stop smelling so I can go in there normally and I'm going to venture back out there. I'm just going to grab a bit, eat it, and that's it. There's no way I'm going to give you, like, a taste description or something. Get in, get out of there. I don't even know if I can do it. All right, it takes a real man to um, to admit defeat. Um, and, you know, I am a real man. And that, that hellfish has defeated me, unfortunately. Um... What I think is going on is um, I've got very well-developed kind of alpha senses that keep me out of danger. Um, and yet yeah, that's partly about me being, you know, big and strong and I develop my fighting skills and stuff. But it's also about a mental state, about, you know, my mind keeping my body out of danger. Um, and unfortunately, it's sabotaging my attempts to try and eat that. Um, it's just the breathing, getting close enough. I've approached it several times the first time. Um, I started holding my breath too early and I had to take a gulp of air and then I would gag in and it's just, I couldn't, there's no way I was going to then pick it up. So I, I retreated and gave myself some time to recover and stuff and I tried it again. The third time, I did manage to pick the fish up um, and it was in my fingers, but then by the time I was ready to eat it, I was like, got like mind in gear. I needed to breathe and I, it was closer to me and it made me gag and then I'm like, I can't start eating when I'm already like almost chundering. And I had to run in and then, Washing my hand, it's the way it feels. Everything, even just talking about it, is making me want to, to retch now. It's horrible. It's left a gross smell in my kitchen. It smells of um, arse, faintly of arse. Out in my garden, there's still the smell of arse and rottenness, but there's also now a real smell of fish, like proper fishy. So disgusting. <laughs> Excuse me. Sometimes if I burp, it helps me not retch. I don't understand it. My body's a complex thing, but that's the way it is. <laughs> okay, I can continue. Um, I've also, I've had a message from my neighbour asking, like, what's going on, the smell and stuff. So I've got to try and dispose of it now. And I, I didn't think about that. How am I going to dispose of that? I can't just get, put it in a bin. It's going to be stinking out the front there. You smell it all down my bloody road. I don't know, what the hell am I going to dispose of it? I, I take it to another bin, but then there's going to be bloody stuff on the notice board on Facebook in my village. What's this smell like? I'm going to have to decant it into Tupperware, I guess, like airproof containers and put those in my bin, but that's going to be handling it. It's been a nightmare. The whole thing's been grotesque. And the worst thing is I feel like, well, I have failed. You know, when I put it out there, be honest about it, I have failed. It's a failure. Um, I've let you down. So... In the comments section, if there is another challenge you want me to do, like most challenges, I will smash. You know, that's actually a challenge for me, finding one hard enough. But unfortunately, it's the fact that it was seafood, I think, fish. It just 
yeah, made it impossible for me to actually physically do it. But anything else you want me to do to, you know, to try and redeem myself, do leave your suggestions in the comment section. Um, you can leave a like, or more likely, you know, leave a dislike. I did fail. Uh, it's fine. Um, but thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with you soon.